See, when God has chosen you over others, it's not about your background. It's not about what you did in the past. It's not even about your education of what you know or may not know. It's about what you carry. It's about what you carry on the inside of you. And that's the love of Christ, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. People may see this bad person. Of who you once was in the past. But God sees someone that can be transformed and bring glory to his name. See, God can see what other people can't see. God see opportunity. God see promise in you. Don't let people stop you from reaching your highest potential. Because you're still focusing on what they said about you in the past or the things you may have done in the past. See, we got to remember the redemption power of Lord Jesus because of who Lord Jesus is. That's why we can be forgiven from our past. And when you believe wholeheartedly in that truth, the glory of God will fall upon your life. And you'll start seeing signs of his favor working in your life. The thing that was meant for bad, God turning around so it worked in your favor. We got to pay attention to the small details. You thought your prayer was insignificant, but God even heard the small details about your prayer. And it's starting to show now. That's why people are going to get mad. That's why people are going to get jealous. But don't let that stop you from walking by faith, not by sight. Keep pushing through. The favor of God will bless you with new opportunities that people try to deny you from. The favor of God will turn a bad situation around so that it worked for the good for them that love the Heavenly Father. The favor of God can take you out of a jail cell into a position of power. And it won't just make a way for you, but it'll make a way for your loved ones. And unfortunately, it'll also make a way for the people that treated you bad. Look at Joseph. Joseph, he was denied by his family. He was lied on by people that enslaved him. He was cast into a jail cell. But God used his gift to make a way for him and his family and the people that treated him bad. And Pharaoh had to put him in a position of power and the enemy couldn't touch him. Because he was under the protection of our Heavenly Father. Sometimes God reveal your end at the beginning. See, Joseph knew what he was going to get into. But he didn't know how he was going to get to it. That's why we got to put all of our trust in Lord Jesus. The reason why God chose you over others is because of the forgiveness that's in your heart see god moved people in position not because of how they was treated but because of how they love because at the end of the day it's not about how good or bad you are it's about who's willing to surrender to submit to the will of god See, we are brought back to the righteousness of God through Lord Jesus. That's why we have favor. Because we didn't hold those grudges, even though it was painful. So that's some of the reason why the Heavenly Father chose you over others. Because of the way you operate from your heart. God can see himself in your heart. He forgave those who turned their back on him the same way you forgave those who turned their back on you. See, when Lord Jesus was on the cross, he spoke these words to the heavenly father. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. Till this day, that's the main reason why I follow Lord Jesus. Because in that statement, 
he showed me his ultimate power. And that's the power of forgiveness. Ultimately being the true definition of what love is. He forgave those who hurt him. See, Lord Jesus also taught, for if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly father will also forgive you. This is why you have the favor of God over your life, because you carry the true power of Lord Jesus. And that's to push through the pain, love those that hurt you and forgive when it's not easy. Sometimes it's not easy walking with the favor of God. But the moment we deny ourselves and pick up our cross. That's the same moment. We accept the glory of God. That's the same moment we accept his will and his plan for our life. And that's to depart from evil so that we may live an everlasting life through Lord Jesus. I pray this video bless you in Jesus name. Amen.